So here we are today with another package, another product to reveal and to install. And this one you've seen it before. I've opened the box a couple times but I hadn't finished the whole installation yet. So this is a rear view mirror dash camera with a wireless rear view camera. So in this graphic you see this is get powered by the cigarette lighter here. You run a wire through the dashboard, the A pillar, and onto the rear view mirror where you will install the camera. So this product records. It has a wireless transmission to the actual camera in the back. A high definition 1080 video quality, super night vision, 120 wide angle view, and 1P 69K resolution. So here it is. This is the mirror that goes on your rear view mirror. It's not. Oh, there it is. So here's a camera. It's hard to see here, but there it is. It has a slot for a memory card that we have already installed, and these are the straps to put it on the actual mirror. And here's the actual camera so this one goes there this is the antenna that goes inside the car in the cigarette lighter and this is the wire to run it through it that will connect here and here so it will be charged there it is and finally this is the camera that goes on the license plate in the back. So I actually tried to install this in a couple of old vehicles, but believe it or not, they already had some kind of this device. So we're gonna do something else today. Here's my neighbor's Ram 1500. And obviously this one has a rear view camera, as you can see with the monitor inside. But he also does a lot of towing and can, can you see this is a pretty long trailer so we're going to install the camera back here so when he is towing he will be able to see what happens behind let's bring everything over it's not moving i don't think no Okay, so we just spent half an hour making these two holes. <laughs> Hopefully the easy part is ahead. So the idea is that we're gonna secure, maybe this way, so it's hanging, right? So we're gonna put it like that. Yeah. Where's the other, oh look, we can reach the other hole. We can? Yeah, where's the other oh, screw? Nice. Uh, the camera is not exactly in the middle, but it's like half an inch off, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So we'll go like this. Oh no, this hole is not obviously, no, I was, yeah. okay. Well, but it will be strong enough to hold it together. So now just the wiring, and this is the difficult part, I guess, the only one. The other thing goes wireless in the cabin. So while, uh, while Tim is installing the wiring in the back, here's the other part of the process. And again, this truck, obviously, if I turn it on, if I put it in reverse, obviously it has the camera that sees the hitch for the trailer, but we don't see behind the trailer. So this is gonna be the solution for that. I'm gonna turn the engine off just now for a moment. And here's the antenna. And by luck, the connection is right here. The lighter connector is right there. So this one, we're just gonna have to hang it here and it's gonna be super easy. If you were to install this permanently in a car, you will have to run this wire. In some cars, the lighter is somewhere around here in the center console. So you run it on there the glove compartment around the windshield and come up here in this case we're gonna use it like this it's right here 
and as you can see the camera already has I mean the, the, the mirror has all the controls here brightness uh, we can start recording if we want it we can change the angle of the camera right there you can go home you start recording you see your time so this one oh actually it's on time actually no 13 let's go here here are all the controls so we're gonna wait for the camera to be completely installed here's a control to turn it off after 30 seconds or whatever here it is oh this is looking up yeah look it's split oh it's split okay wait i'm gonna move the camera there so now team has the camera set up in the car hey tim can you see me there yeah so it's working okay so we have a connection so now we're gonna just finish up the installation here and we're gonna actually go on a ride and see how this helps to maneuver the trailer so how long did this took us four hours <laughs> so not so easy just half an hour to drill two holes <laughs> and then let's go and try to explain the whole thing come over so we left the original blinkers here and here's the camera in the back all the wiring hooked up everything is clean now and the camera is there and let's go into the cabin and here it is we can see well maybe oh we can take this plastic off now maybe we can keep it because this is not a permanent installation so now let's do a little test Tim I'm gonna why don't you move the truck a little bit and I'll stand in the back and you see me while maneuvering there's nothing in the way right there right no only me That's actually really cool. I can I can actually see how far away I am yeah. from the house. So it's useful, huh? It's it's pretty nice. It was worth it doing the work. I'll use it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else will, but I'll well, use it. Well, anybody who has a uh, the trailer will use it now for sure. Yeah. The well, only thing I want to see is if you can put the rear camera on the whole. Uh, well, well, again. On the whole mirror. Read the, the, the read the instructions. Read the instructions. <laughs> there it is. So you can keep those, and that will be your homework for tonight. Right. <laughs> okay. Penny, come here. Do you see Penny here? EJ? EJ? Yeah, I see it. Oh. So here it is. Let me get inside. Penny, come. I'm messing up the video. 